What's up everyone? Welcome back to Armatus Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Tandem Cross Victory Trigger for the CZ Scorpion. <laughs> today I'm going to be reviewing the Core Essentials Tactical Gun. This has an adjustable seat rubber. This can raise up or come down. Alright, so first things first. I have checked this already, checking it again. It is clear, safety's on. I will have to take that off in a little bit, but it is clear. Um, second thing, uh, full disclosure, I did not pay for any of these tandem cross parts on the CZ Scorpion. Um, I ran into Alex at SHOT Show uh, this year, and he explained to me what his, some of his products were. They make aftermarket accessories like triggers, safety deletes, magazine releases, all kinds of stuff um, for different weapon platforms like the CZ Scorpion, um, the Ruger PCC, the Ruger 1022, um, some of the others I can't think of at the moment, but um, Caltech, PMR, CMR 30s, that kind of thing. So he said, hey, we got some new products out for the CZ Scorpion. Do you want to do a review on them? Give us some honest feedback, let us know like how it goes. And I said, well, I'd love to, but I don't have a CZ Scorpion. So I asked my buddy Josh, they said that was fine. So I borrowed Josh's, so thanks Josh. And uh, so this is the, the victory trigger right here uh, from Tandem Cross. They do come in red or black. Um, Josh chose red because he likes to be flashy, I guess. I don't know. Um, so um, it's, a, it's a billet of aluminum, I believe, if I remember correctly. If not, I'll correct myself in the, the captions below. Um, but uh, it's a pretty neat little trigger, the install. Um, first of all, the install, I'm not going to go over... I'm not going to like show you how to install it because there's all kinds of videos out there on YouTube that are great on how to swap out these parts on the CZ Scorpion. So um, they have videos out. Tandem Cross has videos out. Um, so just check those out if you want to see that. I'm not going to go into it. Um, but um, for anybody who's curious, I did, before I installed this, I checked the pull weight on the stock trigger. It was between eight and a quarter, eight and a half pounds. Um, and then um, we can go ahead and check it with the new trigger, I've already checked it and I can tell you what's going to happen. Um, the trigger pull weight is not going to be any different um, because it doesn't really, it doesn't really adjust the, or change the, the, the weight of the pull. Yeah. So, I mean, that was, that was actually a little higher than it was before. Um, it's like, I don't know, eight and three quarters, something like that. Um, when I did a, a few tests earlier, it was more along the lines of eight and a quarter, eight and a half. So I might've just pulled that a little more vigorously or something. I'm not sure, but uh, it didn't really change the pull weight at all. What it does change is there is a, I'll try to get a close up of this, but right here, kind of in the front and up above right here, you guys can see that. There's a little set screw and that adjusts the pre-travel um, again, it doesn't adjust the, the pull weight, just the pre-travel. So, um, so like right now, I mean, you can, hopefully you can see there's no, no creep. I mean, I'm, I'm pulling decently. There's no creep. It's just, it's just a wall I mean, there's nothing there. Um, so then if I pull, it, it moved a little bit, moved just a tiny bit more, just so, so small a little bit more, a little bit more, and then it goes. So, I mean, there's still kind of a creep, like the factory creep when you're pulling back to, to actually fire the gun, but there's no like pre-travel. You don't have to pull it before it hits the wall and then goes back to, to, to release the sear. So, um, it's, uh, let's see if we can get the, So that was the that was the reset reset and then there's no full release once it resets and then there's nothing now i adjusted that at first when i was adjusting it i, I basically put as light as it you know as as, as few as as little pre-travel as possible and it actually wouldn't um reset the trigger because I had it in too far. So I had to, you know, 
creep it out, creep it out, creep it out. So I got it to right where once that, that um, trigger resets, there's no more release. There's no more full release of that trigger forward. So out, you could adjust it more if it was a little too much. Um, it's all, it all depending on you, but you can adjust that. So that's kind of nice. The trigger face itself um, is, uh, it's not bad. You definitely don't want to put like in the joint of your finger, which you really shouldn't be anyway, but sometimes depending on the size of your hand and the gun and stuff, it's kind of hard not to. But the, the, the front is textured very well. The front of the trigger is textured very well, um, but it is very square. So you want to make sure you have um, the, like the front, the first pad of your, your finger right there. And then you'll be, it'll be just money. It'll be great. But if you were to go wrap your finger around, that's going to cause kind of some irritation probably. Um, so just use the front pad of your finger. It'll be great as you should be. So it probably teaches you a little bit more trigger discipline, you know, trigger control. Um, eat the install, like I said, was easy. So um, overall, it's really nice. If you guys don't like the red, they, like I said, they have it in black. Um, but uh, a very good trigger if that's something that you're looking for. Um, my personal opinion, I think Josh will probably agree. Um, between these three, the number one accessory would probably be the safety delete. It doesn't affect me because I'm right-handed. Josh is left-handed. So it's great for him. He loves it. And the mag release. The mag release with the paddle is just, and you can use your finger. It's just so good. So anyway, um, trigger is great. If you guys want to see future content, go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff that you guys know about. Um, check out the links down below, uh, especially the social media links. Um, I'm going to start doing some giveaways on Facebook only for a little while, just to kind of build that up a little bit. Um, so if you guys want to get in on that, it's not going to be like a scar 17 or anything, but it'd be some cool stuff. Um, go ahead and like that, uh, please. And, uh, and stop on by and let me know if you have any questions. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can comment down below if you have a question, message me on Facebook, whatever floats your boat. Uh, thanks guys and have fun. <laughs> uh, what do I do with my hands? Just whatever. Just, yeah, I'm recording, so whenever you want to shoot. I, uh, I honestly, I don't know. Oh, you don't know how to operate it? I don't know how to use it. <laughs>